What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk about the time to kill in Call of Duty World War II. A lot of people have been watching gameplay videos from YouTubers that were able to attend E3 this year, and one of the big complaints that I'm seeing is that the time to kill looks like it's way too fast. So today I'm going to be taking a very close look at the time to kill that I was able to calculate, and let you know how it compares to previous Call of Duty games. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so hopping right into this, I was actually able to find some gameplay of people shooting very steadily with some of the full auto guns, and therefore I was able to calculate the rate of fire of several of these guns, and also after watching through tons and tons of gameplays, I've been able to get a pretty good idea of how many shots each of these guns is going to take to kill. So with that information, I was able to calculate the statistical time to kill of a bunch of the guns in the game, and we can compare those numbers to previous Call of Duty games. So first up we have the BAR. I calculated the fire rate to be right around 615 rounds per minute, which is very comparable to something like the NV4 from Infinite Warfare or the ICR from Black Ops 3. Now the BAR appears to be a 3 to 4 shot kill, and that gives us a statistical time to kill of 195 to 293 milliseconds. This is definitely a little bit faster than what we see on average in Infinite Warfare for assault rifles, but it does somewhat compare to something like the KN44 in Black Ops 3, and therefore it's not significantly faster than anything we've seen before in Call of Duty. It is quite fast in that 3 shot kill range, but it's not like it's at hardcore levels. Moving on to the SMGs, I also calculated the fire rate for the Thompson. The Thompson appears to have a fire rate of right around 900 rounds per minute, and it appears to be a 4 to 5, probably has a 6 shot kill range as well, but based on all the engagements that I saw, it was 4 to 5 shots to kill with the Thompson. This gives us a statistical time to kill of 200 to 267 milliseconds, which is right around the average for SMGs in basically all of the most recent Call of Duty games, so no real difference here. For the MP40, I was able to calculate a rate of fire of right around 715 rounds per minute, and the MP40 does appear to have a short 3 shot kill range, and then it drops off to 4 and likely 5 shots to kill at longer distances. This gives us a time to kill of 168 milliseconds up close in the 3 shot kill range, and in the 4 shot kill range, which I think is going to be a lot of your gunfights with the MP40, our time to kill is 252 milliseconds. Again, this isn't too out of the ordinary for SMGs in Call of Duty. So overall, if we're just looking at the statistical time to kill, it looks to be sort of around Black Ops 3 levels. It might be a little bit faster than Infinite Warfare, because Infinite Warfare has, on average, slightly slower time to kill levels than Black Ops 3, but it's not completely out of the ordinary, it's not as fast as you might have thought. Now a couple things I wanted to point out that contribute to the time to kill looking really, really fast. First off, they're playing in a LAN environment, and this means your experience time to kill, or the time to kill that you actually see on your screen, looks a whole lot faster than you would normally see in an online environment where there's a lot of latency going around. Another factor that I found out that contributes to this is it looks like there is a decent amount of delay from when your gun actually fires to when you actually hear your gun fire. Normally this difference in Call of Duty is around 2 frames or so, so you fire your shots and then 2 frames later you hear the sound, which you wouldn't normally detect at all. Like that's very very close, you really have to be looking at it frame by frame to see that difference. But in COD World War II, I had to look at several gameplays because I was very surprised. I thought maybe somebody's capture software wasn't working properly and their audio went a little bit out of sync. But I looked at several different gameplays and I saw this across a bunch of gameplays. It looked to be out by about four to five frames. So you start firing your gun and then about four to five frames later, that's when the audio actually starts. So you're actually about a shot or two behind with your audio compared to what's actually happening with your gun. Now this is something that I expect will get worked out, it's most likely due to the fact that this is just such an early build and it was just a demo build that was thrown together for E3. I'm really hoping this gets worked out because that could be a relatively serious issue if this persists at launch. Now the final thing, and probably the biggest thing that a lot of people haven't noticed yet, the hit indicators don't appear to be working properly in this build. I was noticing several kills where there was only one or two hit markers, and yet it was definitely taking more shots than that. The hit indicators just weren't working properly most of the time. The one thing I noticed is the killing shot, unless it was with a sniper rifle, was almost never registering a hit marker. Now what I suspect is going on here is they have a different colored hit marker for a kill hit marker, and either something was bugged out or it just wasn't finished in time and implemented into this build of the game, 
but it does appear that at least in a lot of situations, that final hit marker wasn't appearing on screen. I did see it appear on screen for headshots, I did see it appear on screen for one-shot kill weapons like sniper rifles, and it was a colored hit marker, but for the other guns in the game, at least with all the gameplays that I saw, I wasn't seeing that final blow hit marker register. So this is the one that I think threw me off the most when I was watching through gameplays. It was like, what? He only got two hit markers with that assault rifle and he was getting a kill on a full health enemy. That doesn't seem right. In reality, it was actually three shots to kill. We just weren't seeing a hit marker for the killing blow. So again, this is almost definitely just down to the fact that this is a demo build. It's still very early on in the development for a lot of the multiplayer aspects of the game. And therefore, I would totally expect that this is going to be fixed before the beta. If not before the beta, then at least before launch. So overall, is the time to kill significantly faster than previous Call of Duty games? Not really, no. It appears to be a little bit faster than Infinite Warfare on average, but also keep in mind we only have access to a very small portion of the guns that will actually be available at launch. And also, things can always be tweaked. Maybe that BAR isn't actually going to be a three-shot kill at launch. Maybe it's going to be a four-shot kill minimum. We really don't know. But if you were worried about the time to kill looking way too fast in the gameplays that you've seen, I think you can put your mind at ease. It's not likely to be significantly different than any of the previous COD games that we've seen. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.